action. <laughs> Excellent. Hi, everybody. Um, how awesome is this? I really, I get excited not only about Mondays, but about these team calls because it's so, it's such a gift to have a place to come to be empowered, a place to come to fill yourself with things that uh, encourage you in life, encourage you in business, and just a community to be a part of, whether it be virtually or in person. I think it's just wonderful. And so I like to start off with appreciation because I think a lot of times we get so bogged down with how seemingly difficult this business can be that we forget to be appreciative of even having this business, having the opportunity to make a different change for yourself and in your life, even having the access to say, I can work on my own hours. That's a gift. Do you know how many people like can't say that, that are looking for something like this? There are people who work 80 hours a week who have no choice, no option, who someone like us hasn't caught up with yet that are really in the corner in their life. And we have the privilege of not only working for an awesome, beautiful company, but to have like awesome products we get to use every day and to make as much money as we desire. That is amazing. That is instantly amazing. And if, if that is starting to like drift away in your focus, I just wanna bring that back because it can often be the place that you speak to people from of just how grateful you are to have something like this as an avenue that you can take and not just some fairy tale that somebody's talking about, but something that you can actually do for yourself. And so, because people often ask me all the time, they're like, how are you so joyful all the time? Like, how do you stay happy even when, you know, things are going crazy? And it's because I pick what makes me happy and I focus on that. I look at those things and I talk about those things and I elaborate on those things. And this community, this call, this business, this company, these products are those things. Every time I take a shower, I remember to take in a deep breath and smell how awesome this stuff is. You know what I mean? Like how often do you like put on the detox lotion and go, oh my God, that smells so good. Oh my God, that smells so good. Like that goes miles, not only in your own belief, but in the place that you speak to people from. You know what I mean? You could be doing that in public and someone asks you, what are you doing? And you say, girl, I'm smelling this awesome lotion I got, it's so good. Boom, a whole nother conversation because of your deep sense of satisfaction. So I just wanted to start off with that and really just make sure that we know that this is supposed to be fun. All of this is supposed to be fun, y'all. Every step, not just when things start working well or when people start saying yes to you or people start buying products. Like all of this is fun. All of this is fun because we decide to make it fun. So um, the reason why I chose this title, why I hooked on the horizon, um, because I think it's important to know and to identify regularly, where are you looking? Where are you looking? Are you looking at where you are? Are you looking at the problems you've had? Are you looking at how long it's been since someone's bought something from your store? Or are you looking in the direction of where you're going? Because where you look is where you go. Even if that's right where you are, if you're looking down justifying where you are, there's no possible way that you can catch sight of going somewhere different or even being drawn somewhere different. And I think about it like a beach. You can't take in the ocean if you're too busy beating up the sand for getting in your clothes and in your toes and on your legs and stuff like that. Like where you are has to be okay. It has to be okay because you can't get somewhere else from a dissatisfied where you are, you know, no matter where you are in this business. I think that's so crucial to understand because I've talked with NBPs and EMBPs that are still looking towards the horizon. And that's what continues to allow their vision to grow, allow their business to grow, and to allow their passion to grow. And everybody on this call is a VP. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't be here on this call having said yes to this business if you didn't have the capability of going all the way to the top, you know, and whoever showed this to you or whoever asked you to take a look, they saw that in you or they would not have asked you to be here. And showing up is 80% of the work. Being here so that a thought that you may not have thought of might cross your mind, that's, ha that's over half the work, just putting your body in the room to say, all right, I'm here. Now what? You could be mad and be here, that's up to you. Or you can be excited to be here because of what you might hear and what might motivate you to wake up tomorrow and possibly look at things differently. Because if you aren't where you wanna be or if you aren't moving in the direction that you wanna move, something's gotta give. 
something really has got to give. You can't beat against the things you've been doing and the things you've been saying and the way you've been doing it and expect something different to show up because every moment you talk to somebody about this business, you are teaching and training them how we do this. Every step of the way from the ask to the follow up to the sign up, to even after they sign up. The dating does not stop once they get an ID. Once they get an ID number, it almost is like real dating. You know what I mean? Like now we have each other's phone numbers, like we have each other's addresses and whatnot, and now we can date more intimately. But it's not the beginning. It's still a process. It's still a process. It's still a process. And so I chose the horizon because I want us all to tap into really seeing where Arbonne is headed like where Arbonne as a company, as a business, from a product standpoint, like where we're going is pretty revolutionary. The things about reducing plastic, going zero waste, becoming a certified B corporation, these are choices that we are making as a company to raise the level of expectation across the board. And any company that plans to be around for the next 15 to 20 years must think about these things. They must think about these things. And so when you sit for yourself and do your little gratitude entries, which I hope we all do, maybe so, maybe no, but when you do those things, are you thankful that you're a part of a movement that's moving forward? Are you thankful that you are a part of a company that is advocating for zero waste and headed towards zero waste and like reducing things like sending letters because we want to reduce our footprint? Like all of those kind of things count and they matter if you take enough time to notice them. If you're not too upset about where you are or mad about who said no to you last, you might be able to notice how wonderful the things are unfolding around you. Maybe you might, but you got to have your eyes in that direction. You can't be looking at the people who are not doing this. You can't be looking at the people who left mean messages for you. None of, none of those things matter. They don't. What matters is what moves your life forward. And that's why I like the horizon because it's non-destinational. You don't arrive at the horizon. You don't get to the coast or to the water and say, all right, I'm on the horizon. I got, I got it. It's right here. I'm, I made it to the horizon. No, because as soon as you get there, you'll turn your head and there's another one. You'll go to another place in the planet and there's another one. And it's a motion forward, motion forward type of mentality. And I want all of us to think about it that way because that's what all of these new people who everybody <laughs> wants to be kind of envious of because they're just zip lining straight to the top. You know what they're looking at? Where they're headed. That's what, and they can't stop looking at where they're headed. That's what makes it a difference. People call it ignorance on fire. I call it belief and desired uncontradicted. They look at what they want and why they want it and they go for it and take no losses. They take no losses across the board. And because of that, because doing that consistently, for a large number of people, that'll get you an organization, boom, like that. And the people who are serious about building this will rise to the top and partner with you. So I want to offer a tool that I use to not only help myself, but to help my team start to focus on the horizon and what's in front of us. And you may have heard it before. It's in the Ask and It Is Given book. But it's the wouldn't it be nice if game. Wouldn't it be nice if... I got a brand new consultant tomorrow. Wouldn't it be nice if I went region by January? Wouldn't it be nice if I finally finished promoting the district? Wouldn't it be nice if I found a team of people that were excited about working with me? Wouldn't it be nice if I enjoyed every aspect of this business? It's your work to move your wonky tonky beliefs about this business and this vehicle into place. It's not anybody else's job to make this feel good to you. But if you want this to work, it's got to feel good to you or no one's going to come work with you on some stuff that don't feel good. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're like walking in dreading like, oh, I got to ask somebody about Armand today. Ugh. No one's going to want to be a part of that team. You know what I mean? And I know I wouldn't, but it's, it's simple things like that. Like these young people are excited to have people in their organization, are excited to talk to people about it. And people are excited to be a part of it because that's the dominant momentum in that group. That's the dominant momentum and anything that doesn't meet that doesn't last, you know? And so I offer that to people who, cause you know, we're all different places in this business and all different stages of our own personal development, but what can never hurt at any stage in your business is to daydream about the rest of it. Just to sit there 
and think to yourself about what your life's going to look like. You know, Richard Bliss wrote the book Mach 2 with your hair on fire. That's all about making your movie. Do you have a soundtrack? What's the first song you're going to play on blast in your car? I know what mine is. Beyonce, hello. That's the first song I'm going to play all the way to the top too. Mint moon roof back, windows down, trunk open. You know what I mean? And if you have that, what is that? How do you cultivate that experience for yourself? Because it's those kind of experiences, excitement to keep asking and to keep going and to keep talking to people because you're eager about teaching other people how to dream. That's what's in front of you. That's what's on the horizon. And that's where I want our eyes to be. Not on what's going wrong, not on what's not working, not on who said no, but how well this will be, how fun this will be, how big this will be. Those are the things that when you start talking about it, people go, what are you talking about? And then all of a sudden there's a conversation. There's a conversation, which is the beginning of a relationship, which is the beginning of a dating, which is the beginning of seeing that if this is a fit for them. You know, it's all about those kind of things. And also, once you do this for yourself, how do you impart these things upon your team? How do you teach and share and train how you lock your eyes on the horizon to those that are partnering with you? Lock, part, I use that word specifically. They're partnering with you. How does the partnership play? Is it a partnership at all? Question mark, question mark. And if those things aren't in place, that's the first place you want to look. You want to build a team vibe. You want to build something for people to feel a part of. Otherwise, they join and they disappear because there's, not, there's no reason for them to stay. You know, I just did this thing with uh, a bunch of people in my success line where we, I got together with one of my favorite uh, training coaches and we're all doing a five-week course about upgrading our limiting beliefs, dealing with our head trash. And there's maybe about seven or eight of us that have decided to take this time every week. And I think about being on this call with all of these people simply to empower ourselves to think better of ourselves, to expect more of ourselves, and to dream bigger. You know what I mean? Like it's beautiful that we get to do all of this in relationship to Arbonne, but in life, you wanna be satisfied doing laundry. How do you be happy going to the post office? How do you enjoy grocery shopping? You know what I mean? Like, don't wait until you start doing Arbonne to start enjoying life. That's too late. That's too late. It's too late. You got to enjoy the rest of it in order for it all to be included in that. So I want to impart that on everybody. Whew. So forward movement. Um, the reason I picked the title, because it's not destinational and it's always in front of you and you don't arrive. And I think this business is just like that. And if we set ourselves up to focus on the horizon, it will pull you right over the sand, right through the waves, right through the hiccups, right through the nose, right through the cancels. All of those things will become irrelevant if you're headed in a direction, if you have a direction, you know? And so a couple of questions I wanna ask everybody and feel free to write these things down. I always like calls when they're more interactive, so I'm not just like word vomiting all over you, but you can actually say to yourself, that resonated, that resonated. And so there can be questions. You know, Claire asks all the time, is there any questions or comments or anything like that? And I wonder where the dot, where's the dialogue about, hey, I kind of get that, I don't get that. Could you say something else about that? That, you got to ask for what you want, not only of people you're asking to be a part of this, but of people who are in this with you. We are your partnership. And if you don't ask of us what you're looking for, well, how are we supposed to help you? How can we impart things that we have experienced if you don't have the willingness or the vulnerability to say, hey, I didn't get that part? You know, I say that to my students all the time because I know all of us will nod. We'll be like, mm -hmm, yeah, right. I'm with you. Totally. I, I understand. And when the call's over and tomorrow comes, you're like, what was that stuff he was talking about? What were the things that I was supposed to remember? And that's because I want us to engage in a dialogue. So a couple of questions I'm going to ask for everybody. And the first thing I want you to notice is how they make you feel. Do they make you feel disturbed or do they make you feel at ease? Not to say that disturbed is a bad thing. It's just the highlighter for where you want to put your next work on, where you want to put your next uh, uh, personal development journal entry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it just shows you what you want to work on. What is keeping you from moving forward in your business? I'd write it down right in front of you. 
if you're not if you're not doing activity if you're not um moving as fast as you would like all those things count and it doesn't have to be a bad thing like oh there's not enough time or oh there's not enough people whatever it is write it down for yourself so that you can see it on paper and not think it in your brain so leave that there and then i want you to think about what about this system is not sticking for you and i'll tie in how all of this is related to the horizon what about this business is not sticking for you is it selling say out loud to yourself it's okay to sell right now yeah, yeah, see how that feels. Because if you say to yourself, it's okay to sell, that's a sign you wanna work on it. Not that you wanna sweep it back under the rug, but that you wanna say to yourself like, oh man, there's some wonky stuff going on about selling, which is a part of this. It's a part of it. And so you don't wanna just ignore it and hope that it'll work itself out, but you wanna bring it to the foreground and say, all right, what about selling is not okay for me? Is it sponsoring? Question mark. Say to yourself, it's okay to sponsor people into this business out loud so that you can hear your voice. Yeah, and, and how does it make you feel? Question mark, question mark, and actually write it down. Like this is, a, this is a belief worksheet for yourself when this call is over because these calls help highlight where the work wants to be done and then the work happens outside of these calls. The work happens in your own time at your own will, because lest we all forget, you are your own boss. <laughs> That's the beautiful part about this business. No one can make you work and no one can make anybody on your team work. No one can make your sponsor work. It's up to you to do what you want to do in this business. Another question, is it consistency? I know that's one for me. It's okay to be consistent. Say it out loud and see how it makes you feel. I'll say it again. Is it selling? And I say that because that's one that we, we don't like to think about, but it is a huge part of this business. And a lot of times we talk ourselves out of our best opportunity because we don't think it's okay to sell somebody something. We think it's okay for Starbucks to sell us stuff, for restaurants to sell us stuff. No one apologizes when they hand you a menu at a restaurant. They don't say, look at the salad, but don't look at the price because you might have to pay for it. No, they say, this is the salad. That's how much it costs. Point to it if you want it and we'll bring it out to you with silverware and napkins and a beverage. That's what we do. It's the same thing for these products. You point to the thing you wish to change. I want to feel better in my body. Boom, 30 days to healthy living. Yeah, you got to pay for it. And yeah, it's a service that I provide. Another question, is it asking? Question mark. At, say, at, think to yourself, have you ever asked anybody a question a question not an arbon question any question is this your pencil can i borrow that book are you coming to class tonight can i borrow those shoes let me see that sweater can i borrow a fizz if you can ask a question you can ask somebody to take a look at your business do it right now say hey will you take a look at my business out loud uh, I can see some of y'all. <laughs> but when you say these things out loud to yourself, don't need somebody to be there in order for you to feel good about saying it. You got to practice this kind of stuff when no one's around because when you're in face to face, it's too late. You got to be already in your belief. You got to already be ready to have the question. You can't wait until you have an opportunity to practice what you would do if it came up. So those are the couple of things that I wanted to highlight. Selling, sponsoring, consistency, and asking. Those are things that like you want to align yourself for those things to be okay, or this will be very hard for you. I'm just being honest with you. And it's not to say that you can't. That's what this next part is about. So a couple more questions that I want you to think for yourself. That's why I like this stuff, so I can engage with y'all. Uh, 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 uh. So can you accept that this business works i didn't say do you have to like it i don't say if you have to, if you have to know anybody can you accept that it works all of us are an example of it working or this call would be non-existent if you can accept that it works can you also accept that it is possible to have this work for you not it will not it must not it, it gotta, 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 gotta. A lot of times we like to build this business from a, a painful yearning rather than a delicious desire. And that makes a world of difference as well. If you're just deliciously at, hey, you wanna 
I had an awesome call last night. Sharing stuff like this is what makes people want to get involved. Saying to yourself, take a picture. That all of these things, we see it all the time. Posting things that they heard, that they loved, and they share the part that isn't the selling, that isn't the asking, that isn't the, 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 the IPA stuff, the personal development stuff. They open the book to that. They open themselves and open their experience to say, hey, I'm on a call with 46 people on a Monday night learning how to be better about myself and my business. What a gift that is. What a gift that is. So if you can accept that it works, if you can accept that it is possible to have this work for you, can you accept that we all have the same business model? Because some of us like to think that there's some kind of trick or scam going on and these young people got something different than we got or the old people got something different than we got. No, y'all, it's the same stuff. I'm trying so hard not to cuss Claire, so you better be proud of me. It's the same stuff. Can you accept that? If you can accept that, I'm telling you, this will all work out. Hey, stay with me. If you can accept that it works, if you can accept that it's possible for you to work, if you can accept that it's all the same business model, can you also accept that you have at one point in your life learned something that you did not know before? I'll take us all back to a very young day. How about walking? How about talking? Those were all things that we did not know. No one said, here's how you walk. They let you stumble and fall around for a bit. And eventually with the expectation that you would get on your feet and walk. And they did it through example and holding your hand when they could. Can you accept that you've learned how to do anything? Writing, printing, typing, something that you did not know that you now know. And if you can accept that you've learned things that you did not at one time know, then give yourself a break and start cheering yourself on. You are your biggest advocate and the more vivid your horizon, the more fun it will be to cheer yourself towards where you're going. Don't be mad that you're still stumbling and crawling. That's not the way to help you stay up. That's not the way to help you stay up. That's the way to make it painful to fall again. You know? And I say that because I had to do it every day. So somebody might think to themselves, but Yusef, why do you get to talk about these things? Why do you get to talk about something that's on the horizon? Blah, 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 blah. And I, and, I, and I think back to a time when I was almost 300 pounds. Those of you who don't know my story, I used to be 283 pounds. And I started my journey back from 100 pounds a little over seven years ago now. And my only goal, my only horizon with that goal was to change the two to a one. That was it. I didn't start going to personal training. I didn't become a member of a gym. I set something on the horizon and I could not stop looking at it. And life, listen close, life took me on the path to bring it about. It wasn't a strategy on my part. It wasn't me going, I'm gonna lose 10 pounds here, 20 pounds here, 30 pounds there. It was no, I want 100 gone and life let it unfold for me. And I had to be soft and loose enough to go on the ride, to actually go on the ride, not the ride of your expectations, not the ride that you say, well, it should turn here and I should promote here and I better, you know what I mean? The actual ride of saying each and every day, I am going to do my best to have a vivid and colorful and visceral feeling of where I'm headed. I sit around day to day and just daydream looking around and no mistake, every day somebody will ask me, what are you doing? And I say daydreaming about my business. I say daydreaming about the team that I'm building full of powerful leaders that are gonna make a huge impact in this world. I say, I am looking forward to the day that my cup runneth over every single day, every single day. And that's something that you wanna share. That's what you wanna share, not how expensive the lotion is. Don't nobody care but it's where your passion is and where your heart is. That's why people wanna be a part of this, y'all. It's not because our night cream is great. It's great that our night cream is great, but if you're playing the long game, if you're playing more than being preferred client experts, if you're talking about building a team in an organization, you have to paint with a bigger brush. You can't be drawn in pencil. You can do that for yourself and paint with a bigger brush. You know, whip it out, dab it in some fizzy color and take it onto the canvas and see what works for you. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with one more thing to do. 
Uh, um, one more thing to do, and I know you're like, oh, so much homework, but it's, it's important. It's important to know because don't wait until this call comes next week to say, what was that last thing we were supposed to do? Next week should be one of those calls where Claire is so overwhelmed by how much progress all of us, all of us have made in a week's time. A week's time, not three months. I'm talking about what can you implicate before next Monday that will have you on this call with a different tune in your mouth? You know? Yeah, everybody take a deep breath right now. Good idea, Claire. Breathe in through the nose and let it out. It's big. It's really big. Okay, so this last thing I'm gonna leave you with is called the Sedona Method. Me and my team have been working with this personal trainer that I just love, and he's introduced this method that I really think is powerful. And so when something occurs to you that you are not in favor of, like you had an impulse to ask somebody and you didn't, or you wanted to ask somebody to join you on the 30 days and you didn't, don't condemn yourself. It's like standing up on one foot and falling again. You don't say, oh, I'm stupid. I'll never walk again. No, you just rest and you figure it out another way to get to it. This method, I want you to think of three questions. Can I let this go? I would write these down if I were you. Can I let this go? Will I let this go? And when will I let this go? And actually answer them. The question is all yes, yes, and now. That's the answer. But actually be truthful to your moment. And if, you, and if you say to yourself, will I let this go, and you hesitate, that's a sign. That's where you hoist the flag up and say, hey, personal development, come here. This is a spot. <laughs> you know? So my greatest desire is that we are dominating the stage next GTC and swarming this world with light and love for each and every person. And I'm so thrilled about being a part of this organization and being a part of this team and sharing with you all tonight. So that is my training on Hooked on the Horizon. Wow, Yusuf. I needed that. Thank you. Thank you so much for pouring into us, for sharing your heart, for just being you. You are such a blessing to us. You're such a blessing to Arbon. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for volunteering for stepping up um for stepping into bigger leadership shoes i am floored i'm so proud of you and i'm so humbled and honored and privileged to be a part of your team thank you um i really needed this too i mean just because i'm a national vice president doesn't mean that i'm immune or exempt to life you know, I always say that life is a series of crises. We're either going through one, just came up on one, or we're about to have one. And, um, you know, life happens to me, too. And life's been happening to me, too. And you've just poured a whole new life and love into me. Thank you. I can't wait to come back on this call next week and show you guys what I've been able to piece together in the next seven days. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I'm so honored. You're just, wow. You're going places. It's Thank you. Pleasure. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to say anything or your comments are going crazy here on the chat. <laughs> I know I'm trying to go them. <laughs> but if anyone wants to unmute yourself of themselves, please feel free to, uh, I'll be posting this playback. Um, and I'll make it a shareable link. So if you guys want to post on your own um, team pages too. I know some of you have like, your own um, groups as well. Please feel free. And to. also one more thing, when you, I also encourage, share these trainings with your prospects. Share this kind of information with people that you want to be interested in this. I use Claire's all the time. I say, hey, one of my mentors did a training on something that I think you'd find valuable. Can I send it to you in case you might like it? I don't even say it's about Arbon. I don't even say it's an Arbon leader. I say it's about something that is universal. And that becomes a place where they go, oh, these Arbon people are more than lotion? And you go, yeah, they're more than lotion. A ton more, a ton more. And I'm honored to be a part of it. I hope you enjoy the call. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great idea. Now I'm not no. wondering what the heck of mine you may have said to somebody. But my face You'll never again. know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something quickly? Yeah, please. Who is that? Yeah. 
can, can you all hear me? Hi. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, Yusuf. So I get to hear Yusuf speak this truth like every day because he's my direct sponsor. And I'm like crying right now because it's so like, it's so amazing to see him train with so many people because I have been feeling this light since day one. And to see him grow into these shoes is like really like, I'm like shaking. Um, so thank you, Yusuf. Like you are such a light and blessing and the reason why so many of us are doing this. And I also wanna say like, I'm also doing a yoga teacher training and something that was asked of me this weekend in my training was, why now are you doing this? And so much of all the training I'm getting there is like such a direct alignment with Arbonne and like, why now are we all doing this? Like what has brought us now to be doing this? And I just feel like hearing Yusuf all the time, like it's just so aligned with, with that, you know, because there is a reason, there is a calling to why we're doing this. Um, and not like right when you signed up, but like right now today, that like you might not even understand, but it's, it's there um, and it's a feeling. So um, thank you, Yusuf. I just need to say that. <laughs> thank you, for, Katie, for speaking up. Absolutely. Yusuf. Uh -oh. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Charlotte. I'm not presentable. So um, I just wanted to tell you, I've been following you. I want to be like you when I grow up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. You, you, you are the real deal. Oh, thank you. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so glad you're with us here. So I'm going to keep on following you. Keep up the good work. You're thank great. you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. You know what it is, Yusef? Uh -oh. Your belief, your belief is, it's Suzanne Costin, hey. is unshakable. No one can shatter your belief. And that, you know, it comes through. Every time I hear you speak, you know, you're, besides the fact that you're so darn eloquent, you, know, <laughs> you are very eloquent, I must say. But the passion that you have is just so real and so authentic and it just it just resonates you know so yeah you're gonna be an mvp babe thank you i see it i just want to chime in also um because yusuf you've done a lot of work on yourself and that's so apparent like leaders like they're not just born they're made and you you're self-made this is a result of the work that you do on yourself every single day. And sometimes we fall on our butts and sometimes you fall on your butt and you get right back up and you fall down and you get right back up and you fall down and you get back right back up. And you guys, this is a result of that. I mean, yes, you were born with these, you know, amazing magical powers. You're a very powerful person, but I've gotten to know you and I've gotten to know you you know, for the last couple of years working with you and you came into this business powerful, but I also see the shift in you, but I feel the shift in you. And I know that's a result of the work that you've put in. The belief that you have is because of the work that you put in. Cause I'm not sure you always had that belief when you started this business. Maybe, Absolutely. Maybe you didn't. Mm -mm. I don't know. No. Okay. No, so. there were there were times that it would that it would shake me, and it would in the early stages that was something that was disempowering to me. It was something that was like, oh my god, like somebody said something about ingredients, and I didn't have an answer for them. Oh my god, oh my god, and then eventually it became a place of great. That's the next hole I'm gonna fill. Mm -hmm. That's the next. And when it became about like wanting to grow an organization, it's like great. I got to figure out how to be okay with selling and sponsoring. And you know what's crazy is your growth. You are not even done yet. Oh, baby. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Anyone else? Sherry? I, I, just, okay. I want to say something. Oh, you're breaking up. Because I met Texas. Oh. There you are. Go ahead, Josie. Can you guys hear me? Now we Are can. We okay. I want to say something because I can attest exactly to what Claire said because I met you, Steph, literally two seconds after he joined yeah. <laughs> here. And we got, to, we got to partner with each other here in Texas. 
And it's been, I just want to say thank you, Yusuf, because you've been somebody that I've been able to look up to and vibe with and just connect with. And you have pushed me to, to really grow. But I remember when I talked to you a, few, a couple months ago, and that's when you had your shift. And I remember talking on the phone with you and you're like, uh uh I'm not going I'm not getting on anybody's sinking ship like I okay <laughs> and doing this it's happening and that has just always stuck with me so I just love love that and I'm happy thank you Josie um I'm not sure but Sherry I yes. saw that you had unmuted yourself, and I, I don't know if you're like hiding back there, but I'm not going to let you. Uh, <laughs> no, that's right. There you are. <laughs> I appreciate that. No, um, well, actually, Charlotte uh, said one of the things that I was going to say is about when I grow up, I'm going to be like Yusuf. But really, I just, I just want to keep learning um, from you, and you know, from all of you who pour so much into into us and this was just vitally important to me um you know just in terms because you know the work that i need to do on myself is <laughs> that's it. it there's nothing wrong with anything else it's just you know me and my crazy thinking that i'm working really desperately to put behind me so that i can um move forward so i'm just so grateful i, I really am so grateful on so many levels so many levels thank you thank you thank you all so much i hope that learning how to redo these things eventually becomes fun y'all like because it's got it's not going to stop as soon as you get past like one set of things you've been struggling with for like 10 years or so another set's going to pop up and it's delicious it's delicious to have something to move forward to because if you got there and you stopped going there it's all, you know what I mean? Like there's no juice left, you know? It's all learned behavior. And if you can learn how to do it one way, you can learn how to think about it another way. I'm moving to Santa Maria. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna get my car and I'm coming down there. Don't you even sweat. Don't okay. you even sweat. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, Yusuf, you are pure love. Uh, you just, completely i don't know i feel a, sh a, a shift and just a whole other tone um to what you brought here tonight and i have a feeling we we all really needed it especially me so thank you thank you from the bottom thank of my heart so for stepping up and and um taking this on tonight if anyone else wants to volunteer next week or in the next few weeks feel free to reach out that's what we do here we grow leaders so you want to step up and step out please feel free to reach out and uh, we can get you on the schedule All right everyone thank you so much thank you for being on here i'll post the playback shortly yusuf thank you once again have a beautiful, beautiful week everyone talk to you soon bye-bye <laughs>